<laughs> Had a good night, guys. We're enjoying our night so far. Yeah. Woo! Lovely. We're going to go out and get some meat sticks afterwards, right? It's going to be exciting. Some meat carrots. <laughs> exactly, except for the vegans. You're going to actually get carrots. You're going to ruin the party. <laughs> party pooper. But uh, anyways, we've got one more fantastic comic for us tonight. For everyone to enjoy. He brought some friends here. They've got nachos. We haven't cheered the nachos, those guys. You want some? I say we pass these around, buddy. <laughs> Absolutely. By the way, quick, give it up for Ben in the kitchen. He made our fine food tonight. All right. All righty. Let's give it up with those applause for Mr. Luke Chidova. Nice. What's up, everybody? How's your night tonight? All right, first question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. One more time. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes. Awesome. Bruh. That makes me feel good. All right, so, you know, I look like a meat stick. You know, I wore the meat-colored shirt. Pretty ballin', you know. I, I have a confession to make, everybody. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You, sir, you look like you like big butts. Do you like big butts? Can you not lie? He cannot lie, he likes big butts. All right, so we got a lot of vegans here tonight, and a lot of people want to hate on vegans. Oh, boy, that's my people. Brrrah. What was that? I think we have a graduate of one vegan. We have one vegan? Hey, that's a lot of vegans, you know what I mean? All, everybody, love those vegans. We got, we got two vegans? One and a half vegans. Does she only have a person? Does she not have legs, bro? That's scary, man. I can see your legs. You're a full vegan or you're not a vegan. You're either all in or you're all out. It's like the pool, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got one vegan and we got half a vegan. You know, everybody, I tried being vegan. You know that? But it didn't work because they told me I couldn't have sex with animals anymore. Oh, oh my God. I tried being political because we got a lot of political people here too tonight. And that didn't work either. Yeah, the right wing people, the conservatives, they didn't want me to have sex with anybody. And the liberals here in Canada, they all just want to have sex with Justin Trudeau. I got my one-liners here. One second, you guys. I gotta check my book, okay? I went to school for a long time. All right, we already did vegans. Okay, okay. Yeah, give her another drink. All right, everybody, so I'm a millennial. Okay, that's what my mom says. She goes, Luke, you're a millennial. And I say, that just means I have fucking depression. <laughs> Fuck depression, it's too mainstream. You know what I mean? I don't need that anymore. You know, give me bipolar or give me nothing. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> So I fucking hate my laptop. Do you guys have a laptop? Yeah. I want to replace it with a basement full of shirtless guys yelling ones and zeros. Like, oh, one, zero, one. <laughs> I'd boil them up and I'd have a party. <laughs> Woo! All right, so, you know, I was sitting on the couch watching Netflix with my mom. I was Netflix and chilling with my mom. And we started watching Legally Blonde. And I look over and I see my mom's eating cereal. I realized my mom's eating Reese with her spoon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah, you feel that suffering? That's that shit I like. <laughs> oh, this microphone smells so bad. <laughs> it looks like a dick and it smells worse. No one hurt me on the inside, bro. All right, so, you know, I was walking here, and like, I've spent my whole life in Toronto, you know what I mean? And as anybody who's spent their whole life in Toronto, I've dealt with a lot of crackheads. <laughs> so I'm walking by a bank window on my way over here, and a crackhead bends over and shits all over the window. 
<laughs> I'm like, that's eventful. But you know, I'm a photographer. I'm smart. I'm not going to let him get away with that. So I took a photo, and then I put it on t-shirts on redbubble.com. Now I'm selling them. I've sold seven of them already. Shit stain t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Redbubble.com is a site where you sell t-shirt prints without ever actually having to make the t-shirts. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I heard, I heard the question in the background. All right, so when I was younger... What was that? Basically, it's nothing. Yeah, it's basically nothing. If, you, if you're a graphic designer or you like taking pictures of hobo poop, I'll stop on that one. I should have stuck to meat sticks. I would have been better off in life, you know what I mean? All right, so here's a situation where I was, I was a meat stick, okay? This is when I was younger. I pulled a heist. Yeah, you guys are looking at me. I seem, I seem pretty nice, like the kind of guy who wouldn't pull a heist. You know what I mean? But I did. Me and my friend. What was that? I said after that hobo poop comment. Oh, yeah, maybe. Jeez. <laughs> off, bro. But I, I, I did plan a heist. Me and my friend when we were 15. Okay? We broke into his grandma's house. Ooh. Yeah. I know. We opened the back door with his keys. Yeah. <laughs> and we did it so we could steal a bottle of wine. Now, you guys might be asking, you know, Luke, that's bad. You shouldn't be drinking. Why would you steal a bottle of wine? And it's because when I was younger, I used to like bad older girls. Yeah, that's the end of everybody. And so what I did was, hi guys, we miss you guys. Thank you. They were cute, shit, missed them already. Bra. shit. I'm so seasoned to people leaving while I'm doing comedy. Now where was I? So me and my friend, we broke in to my grandma, or to his grandma's house to steal a bottle of wine. So we could hang out with bad older girls. I see you, you like bad older girls. I see it. And I just wanted to kiss somebody. You know, I'm 15, I wanted to kiss a girl. It was all I could think about. At the end of the night, we got super drunk, and things didn't go exactly as planned. But I did kiss a girl. Too bad it was my friend's grandma. <laughs> Ben, all right. So uh, I just got light, all right. Um, so I'm a photographer, you know, so I really like photos. And I get it from my mom. My mom's really cool, right? And she has a photo on the fridge of me from when I was six years old. And she used to point to it and go, hey, Luke, when am I going to get my grandkids? But then I became a comedian. And now she points to it and goes, hey, Luke, remember when I still loved you? <laughs> and I still want those grandkids. <laughs> all right, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I've been Luke Shinova, and I hope you all had a great night. Thank you. Let's, hope, let's, let's, let's get our host back on the stage. <laughs>